Good Monday, this is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Seafried and Brew. Well, Good Monday is right before Tuesday, and Tuesday coming out in here in terms of Election Day. And as we all support the whole process of voting here in the United States, is that we want to talk about the future in here. And what I've said is that we as community bankers need the ability to look into the future economically. And we get clouded in terms of should it be Republican, should it be Democratic, in terms of what's going to guide our future. And when community bankers have asked about this over time, I sit there and I think about it and I say, I really don't believe it has that much impact in terms of our overall economy. Because the worry in here would have affected the economy going into the elections, but the economy has started to come out and done better. Last week we talked about a GDP in here that based upon the past three months would probably suggest that it continues at about a 2% rate based upon the coincident index of all the states from the Federal Reserve of Philadelphia. Well, coming out in here for our Election Day broadcast this week is that we got the six-month forecast. And my feeling is this is some very good news in here. If you remember, when we looked at the six-month forecast previously, is that we had a number of the pink to red states. Michigan was definitely in the red in here. West Virginia was in the red. Even my state of Pennsylvania was in, say, a negative growth of about 1% in here. Well, look at the map now, and it's a sea change in here. And we've been seeing it in some of the economic numbers. For instance, we've talked before about jobless claims getting down to that, almost to that 350,000 level, which we hit around a 359 last week. Once again, we want to see it below that. But seeing the sea of green is a fantastic situation. Seeing greater than 4.5% growth in the blue states is also excellent. Seeing the dark green states, which are indicating 1.5% to 4.5% growth, is also excellent in here. So going forward in here, we're going to have to go through, now after the election, the fiscal cliff and what kind of impact that that could have, which once again, I've said that my belief is that the next two months listening to television, reading the news is going to be awful in terms of the arguments you're going to have in Congress. But in the 11th hour, my feeling is, is that they'll divert the fiscal cliff. So when we look at this in terms of this type of picture, we return to a picture where I think that we could get above the 2% GDP growth and maybe move into the 3 to 4% as we move forward as a six-month forecast. Because as community bankers, we need to look into the future and sit there and say, what is going to be our local and national economies? How will that affect our banks? And this is very positive news after what we've seen for the past couple of quarters. This is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Seafried and Brew. Have a great week.